Secular Sakai is asking, do either of you have any opinions on the Somali atheist Ayan Harsiali, her views, and her activism? Well, Which obviously, one? yeah, there's a lot. Um, she's an incredible woman, has an incredible story, and has, and has accomplished a lot. I love the work of her foundation, the Ion Hersey Ali Foundation. I think they do amazing work to work on legislation um, uh, to help uh, push for the criminalization and punishment of female genital mutilation, as well as doing so much to work with legislators to help um, fight against child marriage, which is something that's very, um, should be talked about way more in this country. So I, I love the work of the AHA Foundation. Um, I think, However, yeah, um, uh, yeah, there's lots of things that I admire about her still, but yeah. uh, a lot of her cultural and political commentary is just Strange. not good. All right. So those are more important. Okay. The positive things about INR CLA and the work she has done are more important than what we're about to say, which are the negatives. Okay none of these negatives should dismiss the important work she's doing with her foundation okay the negatives are that she has heavily leaned into the narrative of fear-mongering um using fear-mongering tactics um against muslims okay i and her cle's narratives uh, doesn't a lot of times come across as anti-Muslim, not anti-Islam, and fear-mongering in a way and dividing people. It's like an us versus, like, you know, us versus them narratives. I think she has accepted the embrace of a lot of far-right people to the extent that she has found a home there, unfortunately. Far-right? I don't Far-right, far-right narratives. Yeah, very much far-right narratives. Like, no, the, like the death of Europe and like being the replacement theories, these are far-right narratives, right? Having migrants coming out and making, you know, the sky fall and completely like destroy the heritage, just completely dis destroying, I don't know, the judo defending judo christian values um seeing this as a destruction of western culture and you know all this is this these are fear mongering none of that um the anti-immigration stances as a whole right is com is pure cringe as you know we are here very much anti-islam and pro-immigration right all the things that they told us about the death of europe and everything like that it was it ended up being completely false. If you look at in Germany um, and the way that they had they accepted migrants, and people thought like, okay, this is the end of Germany. Germany's problem right now is that they didn't have enough migrants. They're realizing that they actually need more migrants. Okay. Um, also, the idea of like preserving Europe and North America against these people just classifies people into better and like like what about do them okay like we are any 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 group of people that divide any anybody who comes up with this narrative of dividing the world and creating an us versus them narrative uh, and trying to defend the entire planet half of the planet against the against the invasion of uh, the other half that is uh, are, are these are narratives that doesn't treat our planet as something that is worth defending as a whole and it doesn't treat all people on this planet um as worthy of happiness and um you know equal to everyone else right like like when you look at migrants and you like you want to you're looking at them as people who are invading your countries uh, and could lower the standards of lives you're like you're not looking at these migrants as fellow human beings that also deserve happiness. They also fact, deserve a chance to, a chance to prosperity. But go on. Well, in fact, the the narratives that she pushes regarding immigration would have harmed her, as a young woman. Right. Would have harmed her ability to find safety and security 
as a young woman. And her narrative surrounding this immigration harm other ex-Muslims trying to find sanctuary and security and safety around the world today. Mm. So I, um, she had, she, one of her recent books that she put out is called Prey. I haven't read it, but Mary, Miriam Namazi wrote um, an article in response to that book. Um, I don't know what the article's called, but Miriam very eloquently writes exactly about how these ideas that she's putting forth, one would have, are, are antithetical to like her own journey and actively harm other people like her. Um, so I would suggest people go look that up because Miriam is so eloquent. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.